Good afternoon, let's talk some entertainment here on Joy News. And our bad and hip live artist, like Bishi Demenya, has been crowned the Artist of the Year at the Volta Music Awards or held over the weekend in the Volta region. He beats competition from six other nominees to take home the ultimate award, which came with a thousand Ghana CD cash prize. A host of other artists won awards at events which took place at the whole Technical University Auditorium. It was a night of glamour, music, dance, happiness, and disappointment. Fafa, an urban gospel artist, raised the curtains for the maiden edition of the award scheme, mainly aimed at recognizing and celebrating deserving artists of Volta origin. Baden artists such as Kula, Chef 1GH, Fiamo, Kasari, Lega, Agbeshi Demenya, Togbi Number no. 9, Kini Ice, and a host of others exhibited their musical prowess to the admiration of patrons. <laughs> Kasari swept awards for Hip Life Song of the Year, High Love Song of the Year, and the most popular song of the year, while Kini Eyes had the best music video, best collaboration, and best rapper of the year awards. Kush Elikem, the dancehall gladiator, won the best reggae dancehall artist of the year. Hip Life Artist of the Year went to Chief 1GH, while Now Prince won the best performer category. I worked hard for it and the fans really gave it to me by testing. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it really didn't come easy. You know, dance hall is not a fraternity where you have loose musicians, you know, everybody's tight and upcoming, you know, ready with fire and all that. I respect uh, my fellow colleagues in the category as well, they are equally good as I am. But I think I'm the king this time around, so they should go and work harder. Remy J won the Songwriter of the Year with his hit single, Queen Om. Best Male and Female Vocalist went to Lynchpin and Lega respectively. Zai G won the Discovery of the Year with a 15,000 Ghana CD recording deal with Brainy Beats, Mama Peace, Brother James and Evivim won the Gospel Song of the Year, Gospel Artist of the Year and traditional song of the year, respectively. The best media house went to Trillion Media with 360 winning reggae dancehall artist of the year. DJ Karanja won the best disc jockey category. Agbeshi Demenya, who had six nominations, pulled a surprise and beat competition from Kenny Eyes, Anna Mili, Chief 1GH, Togby Number no. 9, Ja Finger, and Kula to be crowned best artist in the Volta region. This award means a lot to me. Uh, it's like um, the VGMAs for me. It's like the DTs for me. It's like the Grammys because um, this is the beginning. And today, I uh, really, God has confirmed to me that all that I've put into my work, the energy, the time, the thoughts, the patience, uh, the day and night thinking, Jonathan Neil Larry, Adam, and Elombini were recognized for their immense contributions to the growth of the entertainment industry in the Volta region. Elombini, however, made an emphatic speech on the lack of support to harness and groom young talents in the region. Other regions are supporting their artists and putting money into them. What are our rich men and women in the Volta region doing for us? Tegbi Edinam Komla Ansa had the Lifetime Achievement Award. The event was put together by Event Ghana. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News, who.
Well, on that note, we are in entertainment here on Joy News today. Good afternoon to you, Daniel. Good afternoon, Becky. Looking lovely, I must Thank say. Thank you. It Thank was you. quite a busy weekend, wasn't very, it? Very, very busy weekend. Uh, all the controversy <laughs> with... Um... Yeah, Stoneboy and all that. Yeah. 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 So how I'm sure, was I'm it? sure you've, you've heard everything. Yeah, we've heard some. We've heard some. There's still a lot that we haven't heard. Okay. Uh, but really, you were there. Yeah. How was I it? I was actually there for an event. It was for Kevin Boy. And I was inside. You see, when, when, you, when, when you've been to Champs before, you know that Champs is inside. Whatever is happening outside Champs, you, you have no idea. Much, yeah. So I decided to just step out to, you know, have free my legs, something <laughs> like that. And then, I mean, what happened, happened before I came outside. So okay. I just, I saw a few people and I started asking questions. Right. So I spoke to the right people that are involved, which is Stoneboy mm. and... The other. So basically, that was what happened. He gave you an explanation. He yeah. said that a uh, bulldog and some people came to attack him to take his keys and all that. So, uh, and we still not heard from bulldog. No, not. I mean, we're trying to. But he was speaking on xylophone um, FM today. I, right. Yeah. Right. So I hopefully mean, we'll actually, bring this you is that a one. Xylophone music. Xylophone yeah. media. And a lot of questions came up. I remember speaking with Marco Kripkomante on the morning show. He was okay. talking about how. Um, it's a matter of management, really, mm. at Xylophone Records, okay. Xylophone Music, I should say, and how they are managing the individual artists, the agreements they go into with the individual artists. Stoneboy mentioning on Hits FM over the weekend yeah. that, for instance, he's paid for the recording of his own music. music that was yeah. not supposed to happen. So a lot of controversy happening. So many things, yeah. There, there are so many things are happening, and I, I think I don't know. At the right there's time, we'll get answers. More. Yeah. yeah, there's, there's a, a lot, lot more, more to what to I mean. Everybody's story. saying, yeah. Right. So, we'll, so we'll, thank you, we'll, Becky, we'll, and um, take care of yourself when you go sure. out there. Uh, that was entertainment news ending today's bulletin of joy news today. And for more news, log on to myjoyonline.com. I'm Daniel Daze. Great to have you with us. Up next is The Marketplace with Imano Awadjoyafi.